Well, I forget when the last time that I actually uh, spoke about uh, the old greenhouse and the system here, but my uh, my five gallon bucket far, uh, growing is doing well, and the inside has changed dramatically. Yeah, got a bunch of tools and stuff in here still, but uh, I just finished putting in these uh, flood and drain tubes, and it seems to be working. I got some water dripping out of the end. This piece will go on the end and, and set into the grow bed, as well as that piece there. And... Uh, I kind of had to restructure and change my design a little bit because I was going to run uh, these uh, flood and drain tubes on either side, but it just wasn't going to work. So anyway, got them here in the center and uh, I'm excited to be able to start planting in them. I, I found out one one challenge that I wasn't anticipating that is the pump that I've got that one right over there that's just wor works great to fill the grow beds uh, and it's been doing this for a couple weeks in fact right there this is my planting so far um, and this is exactly two weeks old today uh, and those green beans there in the end are doing exceptionally well. In fact, it kind of surprises me a little bit. And uh, I lost I lost about ten fish. I'll tell you more about those two plants in a minute. I lost about ten fish because I didn't have a didn't have a good cover. On, on the system here and uh, they jumped out but I put a little little cover and a, uh, a baffle over there on the other side and I'll show you why that in a minute uh, and I haven't lost any any fish and I've the fish have been in here now three weeks. I haven't checked the pH. I uh, I ran it oh probably well about about a week with the fish in it before they started to plant, and uh, it's been it's been working out pretty good. I think I don't know. Who knows? Right here is the baffle, and I have that so that uh, the food that I drop in occasionally, actually once a day, small cupful, uh, doesn't go down those tubes or go into the swirl filter here that seems to be working out pretty good. Uh, let me get this top off. You can see gross but hey that's what it's supposed to do um, and I don't have any extra uh, oxygenators other than what's going on here and then when the grow beds dump into the fish tank the grow beds dump into the fish tank and then uh, the fish tank uh, filters and drains into the sump tank here and then the pump pumps it back up to the grow beds. And as soon as I get a larger pump, I will pump it up here to these top top tubes. And they're designed to boom, boom, comes here, goes back down. And then this side 
closest to me will drain into this grow bed and the other side will drain into the other one. Oh yeah, those plants. That tree, and I guess it's some kind of a tree or bush, uh, was just kind of pulled up by the roots and I put it in here a week ago today and because I broke the root system thought I was going to transplant it right away but I broke the roots off but hey the thing is even got new growth on it seems to be doing well and this little weed here well it's not a weed flowers it's been in here three or four days and when I put it in I thought well it was done for but uh uh, I think one of the branches or two of the branches actually broke, but hey, seems to be working out. Anyway, here we are. Uh, hopefully next time we'll have we'll have at least seed in these flood and drain tubes, and uh, we'll have some more activity over here. Until then, sayonara.